This project just goes to show you when we say handmade by design, we mean it. Our entire staff gave this craft two thumbs up and we're sure you will too. Here with the Body Parts Light Cast System is Mark Wynn. Hi, Mark. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Very well, much. You, have, you have two assistants with you. Uh, this is my son, Rune, and mm -hmm. that's uh, my daughter, Elon. Hello. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks. Okay, you're helping us with? Uh, what we're going to do is show you how to make a duplicate of the human body, which is known as life casting. Okay. And it's a very simple process, all done with non-toxic materials and uh, water. Okay. The first thing we have to do is to fill up the can with water. You use typically about seven and a half cups, although you may use a little bit more or less depending on the size of the people you're making copies of. Okay. And uh, now the kids go ahead and stick their hands right in the can. The both of them? Yep. Okay. Both of them at the same time. You can do them singular or, or at the same time. And this gets their skin wet. It also allows you to measure the amount of water that you need because okay. everybody's a different size. Okay. All right. Now their skin is wet, so you take the, their hands out of the water and just let them drip. They have to stay, keep the skin wet. And this material is called Art Form. It's uh -huh. all made out of clays and food thickeners. And what does that do? This is what we mix with people, uh -huh. uh, mix with water in order to make like a pancake batter. Okay. And then eventually it turns into a solid rubber. Oh. Okay. Okay. So first of all, everything's done right in the bag. Everything's very, very simple. You, you pour the water into the bag. Uh-huh. And then you shake up the powder to get a little bit damp. Oh, it's kind of like, like those, uh, uh, the thing that you put over your chicken parts before you <laughs> bake it, right? That's similar to that. <laughs> And then what we do, the bag makes you also allows you to burp it so you can get a vacuum. And this creates a vacuum chamber in the bag so that then you don't mix a lot of air bubbles into your mixture. Uh -huh. And then you don't have a lot of bubbles on your finished uh, casting. So how do you know when it's ready? Okay. Look. Typically, if, according to the instructions, you mix it for about two minutes okay. with room temperature water. Okay. If you use warmer water, it goes faster. Uh -huh. Colder water, you can get it slower. Okay. okay. So you get it mixed up like this until it's real smooth. And as you'll see, you pour it back into the can. Uh-huh. And it's kind of like a lumpy pancake batter. Okay, you squeeze it all in there. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Uh, once again, it's all very safe materials, clays and food thickeners. So if you spill it, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. And then the bag can go out of the way. And the kids go on back in. And these are exact measurements um, with, uh, well, with the mixture and the water, right? It's approximate. Yeah, oh, okay. There's a lot of margin for error. It works oh. from anywhere from six cups to about eight cups. Oh, okay. okay. All right, now when, the, when the, the hands go in, you move around quite a bit. Okay, and that allows you to get the bubbles shaken off. Uh -huh. As you notice, when it's wet, it sticks to your skin. Uh -huh. So children don't have to hold very, very still. They can move around quite a bit. Oh, I was wondering about that. Yeah, do they have to, s how long will they have to be in there? About two minutes. Uh -huh. uh, typically, it will start to thicken, and then it'll start to hold them, so it's very easy. Okay. Okay? Now, while they're in there, the next thing we have to do is to make the material that we're actually going to pour the casting in. Uh, as you can see on some of our finished samples later, uh, the castings is, are made out of a statuary cement, uh -huh. much, much stronger than plaster. And again, this is all non-toxic materials. Uh -huh. You mix it up in the bag to get it uh, fluffy powder. And then you add about two and a half cups of water. Once uh -huh. again, this is all in the directions. Okay. Pour it right in the bag, so it's not even a messy project. Once again, you get the powder fluffed up. You get all the lumps and things out. And again, that's another couple of minutes, or? Well, this, what you need to do with the cement is to let it soak for about two minutes. So okay. we'll just set that aside for a couple of minutes. As you can see, this is beginning to set up a little bit here. Uh, while, we're, while we're waiting for that, we'll mix this up a little bit. We've got to make sure that this is mixed very thoroughly. Otherwise, it'll be a weaker sculpture. Why do they have to keep their hands in there like that for so long? Uh, well, it you can adjust it to make it faster, but right now what it's doing is it's soaking into their fingertips and into the cuticles of their nails and their fingerprints, so it'll get a perfect copy. Oh, wow. So can you do this with other body parts, like uh, your feet and sure. all kinds of other things? Yeah, there's even, in the instructions, it even shows you how to do your face. Really? Yeah, which Have is very, very fun to do. What does it feel like with your hands in there? Is it <laughs> gooey? It's gooey. Does your house have all these um, body parts all over the place? Is it kind of scary? <laughs> But in any case, we can, we can, um, you can do feet, legs, you can, we even do whole bodies at my studio. Oh, that must be fun. Yeah, and then this is, see, this technique is used a lot in the uh, uh, special effects industry uh -huh. for uh, prosthetic makeup for like right. a Star Trek and that kind of, of thing. Of course. Okay, now this material, as you can see, it's yeah. getting all set up. It's like pudding. The kids' hands are kind of stuck into it. It's more than pudding, gee. Yeah, yeah, it's quite firm. I guess you guys get along great, huh? <laughs> now, however, you'll notice, let me scoot in the middle here. You'll notice this stuff doesn't really stick to your skin. Uh -huh. It peels right off. Uh -huh. Okay? So what is actually holding them in there is not sticking, but actually a vacuum. Okay. Because it fits your skin perfectly. So to release the suction, there's a straw provided in the product, and we're going to blow air down in there, and that'll release the suction. 
<laughs> All right, now then you, the children wants to wiggle a little bit to get loose. Uh -huh. Okay. We go up. There you go. And as you can see, oh, your look hand at that. comes out perfectly clean. Oh, okay. That's very nice. Better than a manicure. <laughs> And once again, we put uh, cinnamon oil in this so it smells nice, and that was my daughter's idea to make it smell better. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and after you do this, is that when you add the cement to the inside of this mold? That's right. That's okay. right. So now, as you can see right here, that's the hands inside out. Right. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is the cement is already mixed. Uh-huh. So we just make sure that all of it's oh, wow. mixed around. Oh, Interesting. And we pour in the cement. You make a funnel out of the bag. Uh -huh. And this time you only fill it about halfway full on the right. first pour. After it's halfway filled, you need to tilt it and jiggle it a little bit, like so. Mm -hmm. And that gets the bubbles out. And then you fill it up the and rest you of the way. The rest. That's right. Okay, so now. So we fill it up the rest of the way like that. How do you, uh, what do you do when, once it's done? Let's make believe we've done all this all right. and it's ready. That's right. This takes approximately an hour to harden. Okay. Okay. This is one we did an hour ago. And all you do is, by now the paper has soaked all the way through. So we simply cut the can open. And this peels right off like so. Yeah, it's like opening a present, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. All right. And then you set it right side up. You gently cut into it. And you'll see that this material just pulls what right away. Oh, wow. And what inside, you reveal the hands. Now these, of course, we made earlier. Oh, isn't that nice? And uh, as you see, if you look very closely, you'll get every <laughs> single detail, every every single detail of the finger. Wow, My daughter, in this case, was actually even wearing a ring, and oh, that duplicated the ring. Wonderful. Right there. Look at that. Let's take a look at some um, Great. other statues of okay. uh, hands and feet and sure. whatnot. Okay, can you tell us about each one? Uh, now, that things? was a birthday party, my son's 10th birthday party. Oh. These, you can hold on to objects while you're casting. Mm -hmm. This one here is a group of three children in one of these uh, size uh, containers. So you can paint these also. Oh, sure. Typical acrylic paints, oh, little nice. praying hands. That's a popular school project. Yeah.